What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and this is part two in a series about breaking the mold in common web design patterns. You know exactly what I mean when I say common. Boring! Standardized, mundane, overly used, template looking. In this series, we try to take those common patterns like navigations and footers and about me sections and breathe new life into them by adding a little bit of flavor. We're not trying to tackle entire websites or entire pages, just one section at a time. Improving the web, one section at a time. I like that. So today we're gonna to be diving into a design pattern that's super common in e-commerce, which is a standard product page for an individual product that allows you to add it to a shopping cart. And on my screen, I have a couple examples of what you've probably seen thousands of times. So here we have like Movement Watch Company, which is a super rad company, um, but they are using kind of the same pattern, right? You always have like a product on the left and you have like maybe some options in the name of the price and an add to cart button. Here's like an Etsy store, same kind of thing. We have like a product, some options to switch, and then like your options over here and an add to cart button. Same thing right here. This is like, yeah, studio. They sell amazing t-shirts, really like their work, but they have the same thing going on. It's, it's the standard de facto way to do it. Product on the left, information on the right, add to cart. We've seen this a hundred thousand times. And there's nothing necessarily wrong with it. Like it works for the most part, but I wanna do something a little bit different. So what I'm gonna do is kick over to Adobe XD, which is the program we're gonna be using today. So what comes in the starting file is just some starting colors, a 19 by 20 artboard to work on, maybe like a concept logo, some typography, and just a bunch of images that I either pull down from the web or created in Photoshop. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just zoom in to my artboard, it's 19 by 20. I'm just gonna name it uh, sunglasses because we are creating a sunglass product page today. I just figured that would be cool. And I'm gonna zoom in on that and I'm gonna turn on my grids and layouts over here on the right hand panel. I can either choose to do like a square grid or I can do a layout. So I'm gonna stick with the layout. I'm gonna stick with the 12 column layout. This is a pretty wide layout. It's like 1600 pixels or something like that. But let's just go with it because it's a fun concept. We always put like the image kind of kind of like constrained into some sort of like small square or rectangle or whatever, like a gallery viewer of some kind. And I think that's cool. I think we'll probably end up doing something similar because I think there's merit to it, but I'm trying to think of what to do with this big old honking um, like picture that we have here. And I'm thinking, why don't we just, usually like they're so clean and fresh and white and there's nothing behind it. So I'm thinking, let's bring a little dimensionality to it, but at the same time, I want it to be more of like an experience, like an all encompassing experience when you're on the product page. So I'm imagining that like these horn rimmed glasses are the same as horn these horn rimmed glasses that are gonna be in our in our kind of example. You know what I mean? So that's kind of that's kind of what I'm thinking there. So I'm gonna turn my my layout back on. Hey everybody, it's Narrator Jesse. What I'm doing during this section is just building out a basic navigation. Concept logo on the left, hamburger menu icon on the right, lining everything up to the layout. I'll probably jump back in and narrate again here or there, but for now, let's jump back into the video. Um, so, okay, cool. So we have like some sort of little navigation at the top. We are inside of a product. Um, but we want probably some further navigation. So let's let's start off first with, let's add the product name. So like we said, usually people put like all the product information over here on the right, but maybe that's like the cool idea of this product page is that like you're always gonna have like a model or like a full width image in the background that kind of orientates to the right hand side. Um, and so we're always gonna have something there. It'd be a lot of weight, a lot of, a lot of responsibility on the uh, art department team to always make sure that you get shots like that. But I feel like it could be cool. So I'm just gonna, let's get, let's bring it in a little closer like this. I'm gonna do sunglasses. Yeah, maybe we'll kick it over there. Uh, I'm gonna do sunglasses there. Uh, what are we calling these? How about the retro? Let's just call it the retro. I feel like that's cool. Um, yeah, that's a cool name for some sunglasses. Okay, cool. So we have like our title and then let's do a price. So we're gonna do like a little basic like typographic scale, nothing really schmancy. We're at 60 here, let's just drop it down by half and then let's drop it to weight. So we go from black to heavy down to bold. That gives us a little bit of that contrast. So that's like a little rule of thumb, like typographic scale rule, where like if you wanna get good contrast between two elements, um, you want half the size and then drop the weight by at least two, and then you get some contrast. So now we can add the price, like what are these? 
like 129.99, that's good. And I feel like it just, it has a little bit more contrast, right? So let's like zoom in so we can see it better. Okay, cool. Um, maybe we wanna bring these down a little bit more into that middle area, like that kind of blank area. And let's start adding, um, let's see, maybe let's add, I mean, I think every, every product probably does need some sort of like carousel or like, like uh, gallery so you can cruise like multiple different, you know, like uh, images of that product, right? Because there's probably variations we want to show, so. Here I'm just adding the image into a basic mask. But there's probably other shots as well. I always think it's fun to explore different shapes, so why don't we do uh, um, like some circles, right? So we're gonna pop a circle in there. Let's move that up. I like that consistent spacing. Move it over and give it 12, 12, and 12. Now I could have done, instead of this, I could have, what we could have done here is I could just drag one of these images in to the shape and fill it like that. That's a thing we could do. And then what we could do is uh, we could do a repeat grid in Adobe XD and just bring them out like this. So we know we want, you know, four of them there and then we can just line it up. So we want it to be about the same width as the, the little kind of like container above it. So that's pretty cool. And now what's pretty awesome is I can just drag other things into these guys. So we have like some different like sunglasses in there. That's nice. And then we can always make changes. So let's like, I don't want to border on this one, but I do want, actually, you know what? Let's bring the border back and let's, uh, let's make it the same color as the background. I have an idea because we want to have like an active state. Like what, which one is like being displayed up here? Well, how about we do this? We'll do another circle and just kind of mimic that one. And we will, uh, there's our repeat grid, right? We're going to take that ellipse and let's close it and let's just bring in our accent color. Okay. And make it just a little bit wider. So let's zoom in and get some of this detail work done. So we're just going to make it tad bit bigger but I think we need the size of our border to be a little bit bigger and we want the border to be on the outside not the inside I feel like that's okay it's a little bit boring right like it's just sitting there so I wonder if we could do something to kind of spice that area up a little bit I'm gonna lock my gallery image I'm gonna take my line and I'm just gonna draw like I'm gonna hold down shift and I'm gonna draw like a a 45 degree angle line and uh, I'm going to pull my accent color, which if we're gonna use this accent color, let's just press the plus and make it a swatch like that. So I'm gonna draw that guy, and then I'm going to, maybe what I'll do is, I'm gonna repeat grid with this, and just run it across, and then I wanna have a, just a little bit of spacing in between, and just do, 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 do. I'm gonna drag it all the way out, that's kind of cool. And you're thinking like, why is that there? Well, because I'm gonna drag it behind my gallery and have it be this fun little kind of like shape element. So we'll bring that out like so. And I'm just using the repeat grid and doing a vertical version of what I had just done in the lower portion. It, it just looks kind of like a cool drop shadow that's kind of like falling out, like off of the image. I think that's kind of a cool just element. So we could always have that. It also, I think, brings your eye from the active state here and lets you know that like the pink is connecting. So I'm just gonna take my grid and my gallery, link the whole thing and call it gallery again. Okay, so now we're doing pretty good. I'm gonna lock this up and lock that up. I like what's going on there. Um, I'm gonna lock my options up as well. So I feel like we're going pretty good. Next thing I'm gonna do is just add some basic description text uh, by adding in a text box, uh, just using some of the text features to change the line height and add a call to action button using our primary accent color. It's a nice big button, like nice clear call to action. There's, there's some fun and exciting things happening on the page, but I don't want um, the call to action to lose its prominence so much. So we just do that through a little bit of size and, and through a little bit of color and, and that's, that's how that one worked out pretty good. Maybe a little too big. Maybe I'll just kind of bring it up that way. I think it's it's cool. It's not quite cool enough. We want to add like a little bit of flair um, and just like, yeah, you can click these, but there's probably, what if, let's do this over on our gallery. Let's say there is more images um, 
to be seen for each one, right? Like I wanna click like the color or the style that I like, but then, but then there's like another option or another view of it. So let's do that. Let's just like subdue that guy a little bit. Brought in another color, I think that's okay. So yeah, let's say there's, what if there was like two images for each one of these guys? We could do that, but then how do you navigate in between those? You could probably do a swipe, but we probably need some sort of control there as well. So let's do this. I'm gonna copy this guy and I'm gonna paste so we have it here. And let's do like a zero one, like nice and big. And uh, let's let's play around a little bit. Like maybe we wanna drop it back to zero one. I like the heavy of this uh, aileron uh, like typography, it's pretty nice. So I like that. I just, maybe I wanna try some vertical text in here. Like, I think that could be kind of cool. And I wanna keep it real close to the, um, real close to the actual object over there itself so we know that that's the first image and then we do like O2 for that one but since maybe this one's not active we'll make that one smaller okay so we could have it share the same like top there so let's left align it ooh that's not quite the same do we want to have it share the same baseline or yeah maybe baseline is cool like that all right, and then some sort of connection between the two so you know that this is like a control. So I'll just do like, maybe I'll do like a line in between the two near the baseline of them. And let's crank the border a little bit and let's make it white like that. I don't know, I, are we feeling the top? Are we feeling, feeling the top? I feel like maybe we're feeling the top a little bit more. Like if I drag it up like this and then just bring this whole thing down like that. Yeah, I think I like that a little bit more. I don't know, it's a work in progress. We might come back to it. Um, but it's not the end all be all of like controls, but it's kind of cool. Maybe we could even like take the inactive state down, like semi bold, make it, yeah, I kind of like that. So now we're talking like some interesting controls on the page. I do, I'm digging it a little bit. Um, and I like the vertical text idea. So let's, uh, let's keep having fun with that. Let's bring some vertical text over here. And maybe this is like part of a series, so the classic series, okay? And um, let's have fun with typography. Typography is fun. Let's do, what if we do light and just bump it up just a little bit to maybe like 62? That's good. Um, where's our, come on, let's show me our grid here. Yeah, maybe we put it right on the top of the grid and cheat a little bit for that bounding box thing bring it over. Maybe we kick it over off the grid? No, that's really wide already. We don't want to do that. That'd be crazy. Um, okay, so we have that. Uh, maybe this whole thing needs to come over a little bit. Let's do that. Here we go. Ready? I have an idea. Crazy idea. Let's move everything that we've done. Um, I'm going to just get everything and move it over like that, right? And let's unlock and maybe I'll move my in. I won't use the very outside line, but where I will use the outside line is if we come back in, turn off our grid, zoom in just a tad bit. Let's break the grid now and let's shrink this bad boy down. I like this little bottom control that shrinks. It's kind of nice. It doesn't give me a lot of control, but it gives me something. So let's do this. Um, let's do like a link for shades. One, two, three, four, five space. Uh, let's do, I don't know, like about one, two, three, four, five contact, something like that. Those are some like just generic things, some generic links we came up with. Man, let's make that pink. It's like a little sub navigation over there. I think it's still a little too big. So let's bring those down, bottom anchor them like that, bring them a little bit close. So I like that. I think we just broke the grid a little bit. Oh, did we break things? I like breaking things. Okay, so you know, that's, people ask all the time about the grid and it's like, the grid is a guideline. It's not like the end all be all rule. Sometimes you can break off the grid a little bit. That's okay. So I think we did some vertical text, kind of broke off the grid. That's kind of fun. We have our add to cart button. Um, and uh, this is just one product. So maybe we need like a way to navigate to other products. 
So next up, I'm just gonna add those navigation links. I'm exploring playing with the accent color here or the primary color, but in the end, it just turned out to be too loud, obnoxious, and kind of detracted from the main call to action. So I flopped over and started using a darker color. I'm playing with the layout and just making sure things are spaced nice and building a custom cart icon as well as a notification bubble. And then from here, I actually went into Adobe XD and just did a little bit of prototyping, as you can see. So I could switch back and forth between the glasses and actually press add to cart and send some sort of notification bubble up to my cart area which is kind of a fun interaction just using adobe xd's auto animate well that's it that's my version or interpretation of how to breathe a little life into that age-old product page i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you leave a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell icon so you get a notification when new awesome tutorials like this one come out if you have any questions on why I made a certain decision or what I was thinking in a certain place, leave those down in the comments and I'll get back to them as soon as I can. I hope you guys are having an amazing week designing amazing things, making amazing things, and thinking outside of the box. See you in the next one.